In this problem, we're given some information as to find the cost function, revenue function, and profit function, and then we'll answer questions based upon these functions. You decide to begin selling caramel apples at the local park and swap. Your cost for each caramel apple is $1.41, plus you have to pay a weekly fee of $190 for the booth. Your plan is to sell each caramel apple for $3.38. We want to begin by determining the cost function C of n, which represents the total cost for the week if you sell n caramel apples. Notice how there are two components to the total cost. Each apple costs $1.41, then there's a flat booth fee of $190. So the apple cost is called a variable cost because it varies based upon how many apples you buy. The booth cost is a fixed cost because it doesn't change regardless of how many apples you buy and sell. So C of n is equal to $1.41 times n plus $190. So again, we take the cost per apple times the number of apples purchased plus the booth fee at $190 gives us the total cost for the week. Next, we want to write the revenue function R of n which represents the revenue from the sale of n caramel apples during the week. Well, the plan is to sell the apples for $3.38, so the total revenue would be this amount times n, the number of caramel apples sold during that week. So the revenue would be $3.38 times n. Now we want to find the profit function P of n to represent the profit for selling n caramel apples in a given week. Looking at our notes below, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. And since we have the revenue and cost functions, if we find the difference, we can find the profit function. Because we have functions of n, we can write P of n equals R of n, the revenue, minus C of n, the cost, where R of n is equal to 3.38n and then minus the entire cost function, which is the quantity 1.41n plus 190. These parentheses here are necessary to make sure that we subtract the entire cost function. If we want, we can go ahead and clear the parentheses here by distributing a negative one because of the subtraction. So we'd have 3.38n minus 1.41n minus 190, which is equal to 1.97n minus 190. Again, this is our profit function, P of n. Now that we have our three functions, let's take a look at the next question. This first question deals with our cost function, C of n, where C of n is equal to 1.41n plus 190. So we're asked to find the total cost for the week if you sell 400 items, which is C of 400. So to find this function value, notice how the input or n is equal to 400, so we'll substitute 400 for n. So C of 400 is equal to 1.41 times 400 plus 190. Going to our calculator, 1.41 times 400 plus 190 would give us a total cost of $754. So C of 400 equals 754. We're asked to write this as an ordered pair, where in general for a function the ordered pair would be the input comma the output but in this case, for our cost function, the input is n and the output is c of n. So the ordered pair would be open parenthesis 400 comma 754, close parenthesis. Remember, an ordered pair does need to be in parentheses. For this third part, we want to complete the sentence. My cost for selling 400 caramel apples is $754. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I know there are two more parts to this question, but they're just like this question here, except the next two questions deal with the revenue function and the profit function. I hope you found this helpful.